So what do Jennifer Aniston, James Dean, and Clint Eastwood all have in common? Besides being actors, they've all owned homes in Sherman Oaks, California. I went to high school in Sherman Oaks, and I think it's a great neighborhood to definitely consider moving to if you are going to be moving to Los Angeles. My name's Pierce, and I work on a real estate team in LA. So let's jump into the top five things you need to know before moving to Sherman Oaks. Let's start by looking at some basic demographics. Sherman Oaks spans about eight square miles and it has about 70,000 residents. About four out of five residents are white and like much of Los Angeles, it leans politically liberal. And when we're looking at crime, the overall crime rates for Sherman Oaks are somewhat average for Los Angeles. And the violent crime in Sherman Oaks is about half the national average. So it's a pretty safe area but you do see some property crime and petty theft there. The median household income here sits just above $100,000. Sherman Oaks is made up of mostly college educated people and about a quarter of the people living there are families with children. Something that's worth noting is that even though Sherman Oaks is sunny most days of the year, it's actually a bit cooler than most other neighborhoods in the valley. For a third of the year, the average temperatures are just below 70 degrees. For another third of the year, the average temperatures are in the 70s and for the last and hottest third of the year, the average temperatures sit around the mid 80s. So you're really seeing pretty comfortable temperatures year round, but you will catch that San Fernando Valley heat on occasion. So in Sherman Oaks, you have an educated family oriented community with some great weather. Now let's move on to the location. Sherman Oaks is located in the southern end of the San Fernando Valley with part of it being in the flats and part of it being in the hills of the Santa Monica Mountains. It's bordered by the neighborhood of Van Nuys on the north and Bel Air and Mulholland Drive border its southern end. If you take a short drive down Ventura Boulevard to the east or the west of Sherman Oaks, you're gonna run into either Encino or Studio City. Two of the busiest freeways in LA, the 101 and the 405, run directly through Sherman Oaks. And one of the key things about Sherman Oaks location is that it's super central to pretty much every other area that's in Los Angeles. This is a bit of a double-edged sword because it does give you more commuter traffic in and around Sherman Oaks, but then at the same time, it gives you super quick access to a couple of the most important freeways in LA. And I really do mean Sherman Oaks has some of the best access to other areas, so let me explain it while I show you on this map. You can take the 405 North to quickly reach other areas in the valley or get to the 118 freeway with ease. You can take the 405 South to quickly reach the west side areas like Westwood, Brentwood, and Bel Air. You can also hop on the 101 and quickly get to Hollywood, Glendale, and Burbank. Or you can merge onto the 170 and head towards downtown LA relatively quickly as well. In the other direction, you can get to Calabasas on the 101 faster than you can from most other areas in Los Angeles. And if you don't feel like taking any freeways, there are five major streets that are all within a few minutes drive that you can take to get over the hill. You have Coldwater Canyon, Laurel Canyon, Beverly Glen, Benedict Canyon Drive, and Sepulveda Boulevard. So if I were to rate Sherman Oaks based on how central its location is to freeways and other areas in Los Angeles, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Now let's talk about how much it costs to live in Sherman Oaks. As far as the basics, you have your general Los Angeles sales tax, which is 9.5%, and the cheapest gas that you can currently get there is just under $5. But let's break down the housing and rental market for you. The median home price in Sherman Oaks has recently increased along with many other areas and it's sitting at about 1.5 million right now. Although if you're looking at smaller homes closer to three bedrooms, the median home price is closer to $850,000. There's just so many options in Sherman Oaks because you have so many homes that were built decades and decades ago and then you have so many new homes that have recently been developed. So you really have a variety of what you're going to see. You'll see some listed for like $700,000 and then you'll go down a couple streets and see one listed for $7 million. And if you're looking at renting a house, Sherman Oaks is one of the better places in Los Angeles to do so. So, and most of the people in Sherman Oaks are actually renters. There's usually a nice selection of homes to choose from and you can find three bedrooms for under $4,000 a month in Sherman Oaks. I even recently saw a five bedroom, three bathroom house available in Sherman Oaks for just under $6,000 a month. And if you want something fancier, you have a ton of brand new developments to choose from as well that are a little bit more pricey. For apartments, you can get a studio or one bedroom at certain buildings for about $2,000 a month. But if you're looking for a one bedroom that's a little bit nicer, you're gonna be paying upwards of about $2,500. And I was actually able to find some two bedrooms for just over $2,500, but some of the nicer two bedrooms are closer to 3,500. But Sherman Oaks has so many options to rent from that I like to say there's something for everybody, whether it's a modest house in the flats or a really fancy house in the hills. And if you have any more in-depth questions about Sherman Oaks, feel free to reach out to me at any time. All my information is in the description below. So now that we have a general idea of what to expect in Sherman Oaks, 
let's talk about the things you can do there. Sherman Oaks has hundreds of fitness options, restaurants, and shops, and it has 20 grocery stores. Of course, it's another neighborhood that Ventura Boulevard runs through, so you're not going to have a shortage of options when it comes to businesses and food choices. People are constantly driving into Sherman Oaks from other areas just because of all the options that are there. The nightlife is also great there, and you have about 50 bars to choose from, and I think it's great that you can go out close to home in Sherman Oaks because that's not the case for some of the neighborhoods in the valley. Another great place to go is the Sherman Oaks Galleria, which is an indoor-outdoor mall and business center. It's a great way to spend your day, and it has a 24-hour fitness, Buffalo Wild Wings, Cheesecake Factory, a hair salon, a movie theater. It's got everything. And around the corner, you have Sherman Oaks Castle Park, and that's a great place for kids to go, but I have no problem going there as an adult. They have a batting cage, a mini golf course, and an arcade. Another family-friendly place for outdoor activities is the Sherman Oaks Recreation Center in the middle of the neighborhood. This is a 67-acre park with a recreation center and plenty of areas you can have a picnic at. It also has this really popular dirt-packed running track that's about a mile and a half long. I actually used to practice pole vaulting sometimes here in high school. There's also a swimming pool, a softball diamond, basketball courts, and tennis courts. It's great for kids also because they have Little League there and a soccer complex, and they also host activities like gymnastics and martial arts. I could go on forever, but I think you get the picture. There are copious amounts of things to do in Sherman Oaks. So we talked about how Sherman Oaks is filled with families and educated people. We talked about how the weather is pretty much amazing year round. We saw how central Sherman Oaks is to other areas in Los Angeles and to some major freeways. We also looked at the wide range of options when it comes to the housing and rental market in Sherman Oaks. And lastly, we covered the fact that there's a bunch of different businesses in Sherman Oaks and there's a ton of things you can do there. If you have any more questions about Sherman Oaks or any other area in Los Angeles, please feel free to reach out to me at any time. My name's Pierce and I work on a real estate team in Los Angeles and my information is in the description below. If you found this video valuable in any way make sure to subscribe because I will be releasing multiple videos every week about different Los Angeles areas and what it's like to live in them.